Hi everyone, and welcome to the first tutorial video for the CQL Pro software. In this video, we'll design a label and print it with the QL120 printer. First, I'll click on the CQL Pro launcher. The CQL Pro launcher gives you access to all components of the CQL Pro software. Click on Create a new label. Now we're presented with a new label window. In this window, we can select the type of printer we want to design a label for. We can select the design resolution. We can set the label size, the type of units, and also the label shape. For this exercise, we're going to select the design mode as QL120, and we're going to keep the design resolution at 1200 dpi. For the label size, we're going to change the width to be 4 inches and the length will be 5 inches. We're going to keep the unit type to inches. Of course, we can change it to centimeters or millimeters if we want. And for the label shape, we're going to select rounded or rectangle. Here we have the CQL Pro Label Designer. As you can see, the label designer looks like Microsoft Office Word. On the left side, we have different things we can insert in the label. So we have images, text, shapes, and barcodes. On the top, we have ribbons, the home tab where we can cut, paste, and copy. We can also delete and duplicate. We can undo and redo steps. We can do justifications. We can do alignment, distribution. We can group and ungroup fields. We can also send fields to the front or back and so on. The label tab allows you to change your design mode and resolution and also the label size and shape if you want. The View tab allows you to add margins. You can also change your design orientation from portrait to landscape. You can also zoom in, zoom out. You can show or hide the grid or show and hide the ruler. We're going to start designing our label with an image. We're going to click on the Image button and click on the label. To get your image in the image field, double click on the label so you can browse for your artwork. The CQL Pro software supports most image types. To move your image, just click and drag. To resize it, you can click on the corner and drag it as well. You can also resize your image by going to the field properties Go to Field Properties on the right side, and if you scroll down to Size, here you can resize your image. So let's say you want this image to be 3x3. Three three. We can double click here, and enter 3 for the width. And the length will change automatically as we have Maintain Aspect Ratio checked. To center the image, select it and go to the Home tab, and click on Center Justify. Next, we're going to add a barcode. Just click on the barcode button and click on the label, then select the type of barcode that you want to add. Here I'm going to choose UCC128 and click Select. You can click and drag your barcode to place it where you want. Next, we're going to add a text field. Click on the text button, then click on the label. To enter your text, go to the field properties on the right side, scroll down, highlight the default, and type your text. For instance, I'm going to enter, this is my first label. To change the color, font type, and size, highlight the text, scroll up, and you can change the font type from here. Here's changing the font size and changing the font color. Next, we're going to add a shape. Click on here. If you click on the corner, you'll see there are different types of shapes we can add to our label. I'm going to select Rectangle. And here we have a cyan box. We can resize it by clicking and dragging on one of the corners. Like the text, we can modify it by going to the field properties, and in here you can change the X and Y position, rotation, the color, and style. 
For example, you can change it from a solid to a solid outline. I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep the color cyan. Of course, you can select any color you want. Now we're ready to print our label. To print your label, click on File Print. And here we have the Print Setup window. For the printer dropdown, we're going to select the exact printer we're going to print on. We're going to select the QL120 printer. As you might have noticed, so far we haven't selected printer or label properties. For example, we have not specified if our label is glossy paper or glossy synthetic paper or matte synthetic. Also, we have not specified the type of die cut label that we have, whether it's die cut gap, die cut with black mark, or continuous. All this information can be entered in the printing profile. To create a printing profile, click on the Add button right here. Start by giving your profile a name. We're going to name this one 4x5. The label we're going to print on is 4x5, and it's glossy paper with gap. Under General, we can select Cutter, and then Enable or Disable the Cutter. You can change the Offset, Overbleed Settings, Print Orientation, Print Quality, and Speed. There are also Advanced Settings for Color and Calibration. For this demonstration, we're going to keep it simple, so we're not going to change any of the printer properties. For Media Properties, of course our printer is the Quick Label QL120, we're going to keep the shape as Rounded Rectangle, and for media type, we're going to change it to glossy paper. We're going to keep the sensor type as gap. Of course, if the media has black mark, we'd select reflective, and if there's no gap or black mark, we'd select continuous. Now we're going to enter the exact dimensions of the label. The width of the label is 4 inches, so we're going to keep this one as 4. The length of the label is 5, so we're going to change the length to 5. The maximum printable width is also 4 inches. With die cut label gap, the maximum printable width is the same as the width of the label. The maximum printable length is 5. The total width is the width of the label plus the liners on both sides. As default, it's 4.125, so it's 0.125 added to the width of the label. And the mark length is the vertical length between the labels, and it's also 0.125. And now we can save. And as you can see, now we are ready to print our label. Here we have a live preview of the label and what it's going to look like when we print it. In the print setup window, we can change the number of copies. For example, let's say we want four copies. As a summary, we have designed a label and printed it to the QL120. We hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to check our YouTube channel for more tutorial videos.